All right. Hello, everyone. Let's talk about the markets because they are off to a rough start this week. Winnie Sun, a financial advisor and managing partner of Sun Group Wealth Partners, uh, joins us to talk about this. I mean, I know September is usually a bad month. I mean, but uh, what's the driving force behind this, Winnie? It's crazy, Mike. You know, the market's been down over 800 points this morning. Some of the worst results on a Monday since like October of 2020. But one of the things that we're finding out now is it sort of reads like a scary novel and that the news is coming out of China that, in fact, there's a huge company by the name of China Evergrande Group. And this group is on the brink of like defaulting on, we're talking uh, millions, billions of dollars, in fact, of debt, real estate debt. And so as we remember, because this is a global economy now, what happens in China is expected to also play some role here in the United States because they borrow from so many different banks and they were supposed to make um, interest payments today and they missed it. So they're starting to pay investors back in hard real estate. It's, it's pretty uh, shocking. It's just such a large impact and if you if you think about it if if yeah. people are struggling there what's going to happen here we're also looking at the fed chairman uh, the federal reserve is yeah, beginning this week, right? meeting yeah, yeah starting tomorrow and uh, up to wednesday we're probably gonna have a, a press release from jerome powell fed chairman jerome powell on wednesday but as you know we're really concerned because what's going on is uh, are they going to start to increase interest rates are they going to start to uh, ease some of those pandemic easing policies investors are concerned they don't want to see too much change too quickly but they're also concerned about inflation so what, what do you expect i mean one or two topics to hear from this meeting i mean is it the focus is is on the rates would you say that's number one I think we're going to see a lot on inflation, but also we're looking at what's happening with employment. Are people getting back to work? Are new jobs being created? And of course, we want to see what's happening with the pandemic. Um, and But there's a lot of things also that stem from the pandemic. Are people going to start shopping as normal and spending as normal, saving as normal? And unfortunately, there's so much unknown. The last two days, we're, a lot of people are just very concerned of what the government's going to be doing. Okay. Uh, let me ask you, <clears throat> excuse me, a few months left to sign up for the uh, advanced child tax payments. Um, what, what's the future of these checks here, Winnie? So here's the big thing. So for those of you who already are receiving the child tax credit, great. You probably don't have to do much. But for others, there's still a lot of Americans out there who haven't even filed their taxes and certainly haven't made it. Uh, if they have children, they may not even have gone in and filled out the IRS non-filer portal. Uh, so there is a deadline that's going to be open until October 15th. So if you have kids and you're not getting your child tax credit and you meet the income requirements or thresholds, you got to make sure that you go ahead and file that you know that's that's key um and if you don't there's going to be uh resources out there but we're talking you know um three thousand dollars and if you have children under the age of six that's another six hundred dollars so make sure you yeah, do that money. Mm -hmm. hey uh good news for seniors right uh when it comes to social security payments is that number going to go up next year or the year after well, it has to go up, Mike, and this is a good thing. I mean, for those who are already receiving Social Security, we know there needs to be a major cost of living adjustment in 2022 because inflation has risen so much more than expected this year. So the average senior is going to see an increase uh, probably nearly $100 in 2022. Uh, that's an increase of 6%, which is a big deal because this is actually the biggest a cost of living adjustment in 40 years. This is due to inflation brought by the pandemic. So unfortunately, it also means those who aren't receiving Social Security, you know, that's also a reason why Social Security might just run out. So hopefully it doesn't, but uh, plan ahead. Yeah. For those of you <laughs> listening, definitely plan ahead. We don't Assume want that to happen. Get it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's almost the, end, almost the end of the year. This phrase, tax harvesting your portfolio. Um, what's this strategy? What does this really mean? Okay, tax loss harvesting is a big deal for those of you who are listening. Now, this doesn't apply to things what we call qualified accounts. So don't worry about your accounts like the Roth, IRA, 401k, not that category. But for those of you who are investing in brokerage accounts, taxable accounts, right, that maybe are your name, your, you and your spouse, your trust, whatever, you want to take a look at things that are maybe underperforming in your portfolio. 
you might want to consider talking to your accountant, seeing whether or not you should do tax loss, a strategy of taking those losses. You can always buy back those same holdings or similar industries after 30 plus days. But if you have gains in your portfolio, this is a way to offset the gains with losses. So ideally come next April, you're not going to owe that much in taxes. Now, this is a critical time. You've pretty much got three months to do this. So talk to an accountant ASAP. I feel like the year kind of flew by. I mean, October's not on the door already. So, hey, Winnie, always a pleasure. Winnie Sun, managing partner of Sun Group Wealth Partners. Uh, have a great rest of the week. Thank you so much, Mike. Take care.